How you doing guys, it's Big Mac Dansko here on day 14 of October. Uh, you'll have to forgive my voice, I've got a bit, a bit of a cold at the minute. Um, and those more eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed in the picture you can see on your screen now, there's two different base sizes. I've decided to take the leap and uh, put all my boys onto 32 mil bases. I thought I'd take you through a step-by-step -step of how I did that. Um, so firstly, just base coat, or um, undercoat rather, with the Halfords Grey Primer. Next, to put down a couple of layers of neolac oxide. Uh, this is a technical paint, and it's um, supposed to be used to um, make bronze and stuff look weathered. Uh, but I really like the sort of toxic glow you get with it, so I'm using it for this. I then put a layer of PVA glue down. Now, if you're using one of the crackle paints, um, the PVA glue somehow helps the paint um, crackle more, um, so you get bigger cracks. My next step was to apply the Martian Iron Earth paint, um, which is obviously a crackle paint. I'm going for a cracked earth look with a sort of toxic under, under the surface. It may be a little difficult to see in this image, but um, this is the Iron Earth after I've given it a little bit of time to dry. Um, so I'll just show you a couple of photos now of my boys on the bases, just so you can see the difference in sizes. With the view from above, you can see the most obvious size difference. Um, it's 7mm, so it's nearly a full centimetre. And here's a side-by-side -side view for you. Um, what some people don't realise is the 32 mm bases are actually probably about a mil taller as well. thought I'd leave you with this lovely image of staring down the barrel of a slugger. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you on the battlefield.